What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to show you the locations for as well as explain the two sacred tridents you can get at Zora's Domain, which are actually perma weapons. Now, if you don't know what perma weapons are, essentially they're weapons that can break like others in Breath of the Wild, but if they break, they can be replaced or repaired unlike others by gathering various materials. Now, when you first go to Zora's Domain, if you go to the bottom floor on the right side, as far down as you can go past the general store, you'll find a Zora named Dento. And when you first go up to him, you'll find that he claims you're supposedly making a ruckus or something along the lines of that, kind of treating you like shit as most of the Zoras will before you cleanse Ruta, the divine beast, since the vast majority of them blame Hylians for the death of the champion of water princess Mipha and the corruption of the beast to begin with. So my point is, if you go up to the guy, he's not going to craft either of the two sacred tridents for you. Instead, he will tease you by offering two prompts for them, which neither of them will be offered. So in order to get him to build the tridents, you're going to need to complete complete the Divine Beast, then come back to Zora's Domain. And when you return, you'll be greeted with a ceremony in which the old geezer Zora that was skeptical of you and Mipha's love for you will then present you with the Light Scale Trident. Now, the Light Scale Trident, like I said, can break. However, since you've cleansed the beast, when you return to Dento, he will now be in your debt, so he will repair the thing at Dento's workshop for five flint, one diamond, as well as Azora's spear. If you're only getting the weapon as a collectible and not to actually use, I recommend not breaking the original because otherwise it will say on the description of the weapon that it is a counterfeit or replica of the original, but as far as the weapon goes, it's the exact same damage-wise and the weapon itself. It looks no different. There's no differences. The only thing is the description. Description. Now, the light scale trident is the stronger of the two sacred tridents I'm showing you in this video. Both of them are surrounding Princess Mipha's lore, uh, and she's used both of them, and will offer 22 attack, as where the ceremonial one will grant you only 14, but the ceremonial one is much easier to get. In fact, you don't even have to cleanse the divine beast to get it. Just come slightly to the right of the bridge you're seeing marked on my map over here, ice block your way over to the middle of the water over here, and then whip out the old magnet, and you can actually find it underwater and pick it up with it. Now this weapon can be gotten before the divine beast, like I said, because you just pick it up. However, if it breaks, that is when you're going to need to defeat him to be able to repair the thing at Dento's workshop for five flint, as well as Azora's spear. A similar blueprint to the light scale trident, except you don't need a diamond since it's not quite as good as the light scale, despite them being identical in appearance. Now, as far as the materials go, I know flint is found in the mountains. I think that ruby and sapphire I've seen as well. So maybe that's where you find diamond. And last but not least, I know there's multiple ways to get those, but the way that I actually ended up getting was by going into the shrine that's literally right under Zora's domain. Obviously, you can only do this once, but if you open up that chest over there, that is where I found my Zora. And there you go, the two permanent sacred weapons of Zora's domain. Enjoy, guys, and I'll be back with some more Zelda guides very, very soon. So don't forget to subscribe, and I'm out.